In a landscape of economic volatility, where the Nigerian Naira has faced consistent depreciation, sustaining its appreciation becomes paramount. However, there is a cheering news that the Naira rebounds against the United States dollar at the official and parallel markets, with the local currency recording a significant gain. The acting CBN director, Corporate Communications, Hakama Sidi Ali, disclosed that the central bank has cleared about $1.5 billion backlog of foreign exchange. Can that be the reason for, sudden, uh, for the sudden surge of the Naira against the dollar? What is it that the CBN did actually that made the Naira to rebound? This is what the, will form the crux of our discussion tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ikaria Clinton. Welcome to Nigeria today. Well, joining us in the studio to discuss sustaining Naira appreciation is uh, Dr. Joel Harona. He is a chartered accountant and a financial analyst. You're welcome to Nigeria today. Thank you. I mean, yeah, it's indeed, it is a, a cheering news that uh, the Naira is, uh, you know, a rebound, you know. So uh, tell us, what are some of the contributory, uh, you know, factors that led to the Naira rebound and how can we sustain this? Okay, um, I'm also equally very happy to. Um, it's um, one of the best news we're getting okay. this year. Um, I think CBN has woken up to his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And then the policy signaling has been very positive, and then um, everybody knows that something is being done. Mm -hmm. When you leave um, a policy and nothing really is done, you will see that um, hawks will come in to take over. But the CBN has been doing what it needs to do, it has been doing a lot of tightening, and um, that, is begin that is going to yield results. Um, if you recall, in the last MPC, it was a tightening, even though it was criticized in some quarters. But I think that it, they did the right thing and they took the right decisions. Mm. Uh, the MPC moved by 400 uh, basis points from 18.75 to 22.5 mm. or thereabouts. And um, that has actually reduced um, the money in circulation. And it's only natural when the Naira starts getting scarce. Mm the currency starts um, appreciating. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say it's a combination of various factors. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of all the policy decisions that CBN has been taking um, since the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. um, you also recall that some time ago, uh, the CBN also started regulating the, C the BDCs properly. And BDCs are now aligned to carry out their tasks, so they also um, a contributive factor. Uh, the BDCs are being checked now, mm -hmm. and um, they also, you know, constitute um, one of the reasons why the dollar is um, the naira to the dollar is stabilizing. Um, there are other factors, um, like some of the malpractices that have been in the system, mm -hmm. has been largely reduced. Of course, you also made mention to the backlog of. Um, that has been outstanding, of our FX uh, liabilities have been outstanding. Mm -hmm. That has also helped. Um, if you recall, some of the decisions that have been taken has helped our foreign reserve to rebound. You know, I mean, we've seen an all-time high um, these last few weeks. Um, so I think the CBN is doing all, is taking all the right steps, is signaling this policy, mm -hmm. and is clearing all the malpractices in the system. So I will give kudos to the CBN um, for um, what we're seeing um, this past um, few 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 days. Yeah, and the, the next question: How can we sustain this? Yes, um, it's very simple. It's just to continue with the same uh, <laughs> what you're doing, and it's working. You don't change the winning team. Uh, so it's to continue with the same trajectory. Um, by the next MPC meeting, I see for that tightening. I personally will support for that tightening uh, because <coughs> one of the reasons why we were where we are was the excess money supply in the system. Mm -hmm. Of course, you are aware that in the past um, administration, 30 trillion was printed, mm -hmm. and um, there was so much money in circulation 
and that impacted significantly. When um, you have so much uh, Naira, um, it's only natural that the Naira will lose value. So um, there will be tightening, so I support the further tightening of um, the various policy rates. Further tightening, while some experts are really uh, <laughs> continuing the tightening, <laughs> you're already tightening on there. Can you be asking for further yeah, tightening? Yeah, you know, something has to happen. Something okay. has to be done. Okay. Now, when the first tightening was done, we all complain. A lot of people scream, manufacturers scream, everybody scream. But we're beginning to see results. You know, because for me, um, if something is not done, when you are in a very um, drastic um, situation, you have to take drastic actions. Mm. You know, so these actions are being taken are um, supposed to be sustained mm. for us to begin to see the value of um, what is going on. Mm. I am positive and I'm happy, and I know that uh, maybe probably in the next uh, one to two months we will we'll see the. Um, dollar drop for that, maybe to one, two, or even maybe to a thousand in the in the short to medium term. A thousand? Why am I even calling for six hundred? Uh, well, <laughs> we may not just go um, down <laughs> that that way, but um, if we continue what we're doing and um, maybe the fiscal side, you know, starts contributing because what we're seeing now is the effort of the monetary side. Um, there's a lot to be done by the fiscal authorities. Okay, that brings me to my next question. What measures should be in place to uh, ensure the long-term stability of the Naira, you know, against other currencies? Okay, um, well, it can be um, CBN's uh, responsibility alone. Um, a lot needs to be done um, on the fiscal side. Um, you know that... Um, Production, productivity is one key um, sustainable um, factor. If export production is ramped up significantly, mm -hmm. most of the actions that are being taken now are drastic measures, um, short term. Mm -hmm. So the longer term measures are to improve productivity for us to move from consumption to production. Mm -hmm. If we start producing, what we eat, if we start producing what we wear, if we start producing things that we use. The dependence on importation, the balance of payments will, um, will start favoring us. Mm -hmm. And um, these are the long-term um, solutions. Um, also, I, I have seen that um, a lot has been done with respect to crude production. Uh, for the first time, we started touching down on 1.6, 1.7 million barrels per day. Um, this was um, um, a variance at what has been in the past where we're probably doing between 900 to 1.2. So that again um, has helped and if it's sustained you know in the short to medium to long term um, that will also help because uh, most of the um, one of our major studies of um, FX of course um, still remains the crude. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that uh, needs to be done for us to be able to um, have a long-term sustainability of the efforts that are going on now. Okay, you, you, you talked about uh, we producing what we, you know, what we use not to depend so so much on uh, importation. But then, what can the what strategy do you think the government can employ to promote exports and also boost production? Yeah, um, there are a number of fiscal measures. Um, that the government can use. Mm -hmm. um, tax is one of the things that are used to, um, one of the fiscal po uh, policies that mm -hmm. disposal of government. Um, whatever we can do to discourage um, importation of, pro of things that we can produce will go a long way. Unfortunately, even the production, 90% of our inputs are still imported. So, um, even when we try to run from import and to start producing, we will still require those, imp uh, you know, the, the, the inputs we need for the, you know, to manufacture are uh, largely imported. If you say Piotr, for example, the, there are so many components that need to be imported, mm -hmm. you know, to be used in the, pro in the production. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have a solid uh, minerals, not much has been done. Um, I know the current um, minister is taking some actions and um, 
if we start getting traction in the solid uh, mineral space, it will go a long way. And um, some of the policies are beginning to encourage FPIs and FDIs, sorry, the foreign portfolio investment and foreign mm -hmm. direct investment. investment. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, the increase in the rates have seen uh, investors, you know, bringing in their monies, you know, to, I mean, uh, make some more money. So some mm -hmm. of those policies, you know, really, really need to be sustained, mm -hmm. you know, to encourage um, the foreign uh, portfolio investors mm -hmm. and also the foreign uh, direct investments. Yeah, now, talking about uh, the appreciation, now, what is the, uh, what would be the ripple effect on the everyday consumer and, of course, businesses I in Nigeria? Because at the end of the day, the ordinary man on the street want to know how, you know, it will <laughs> benefit him. Yes. I mean, in my view, s rate is the biggest um, determinant of the inflation rate. If the s rate continues this downward trade, mm -hmm. you will see that inflation will start coming down as well. Mm -hmm. um, like you already know, most of the things that we use uh, are imported. So if the cost of import, if the, if the SNG drops and the, what we, the input into some of the things that are produced drop, um, eventually the cost of um, products will continue to drop. Um, we are already seeing some of the effects. If you go to the market, price of things between last month and now, you can see some reasonable um, um, reduction. Uh, I understand the cotton of in Indomie has moved from an all-time high of about fifteen thousand to around eight to seven thousand or thereabout. Um, I also, um, you can also see that in several other products. So, um, the price of things are driven by the exchange rate because. 95% of our inputs are imported. So if the amount of money you need to spend to bring in those goods are very high, I mean, it will also drive the prices of uh, um, goods. So for me, I think that um, we're going to continue to see a downward um, trend towards the price of goods because, of course, in the last few, few months, people that are in the business will also tell you um, with the disposable income that has, you know, mm -hmm. going down and down, uh, people are not buying, people are not selling. The price is going up, but people are not even buying. So, mm -hmm. um, prices will be forced down eventually um, by the forces of demand and supply. Now, I know earlier on you mentioned something, uh, you know, in the er area and the neighborhood of the foreign direct investment. I know uh, that has really improved in the recent time, you know, because of the policy. But how can we attract more of that, you know, to stimulate economic growth and it, of course, stabilize the Naira's value? Yeah, um, it's policies. Mm. You know, um, if you put the right policies in place, the market will react. It's only natural. If I'm an investor and I see that, okay, um, I'm only getting 3% or 4% in this claim. Mm. If I move to the next claim, I'm going to get uh, some additional 10% 10, 10 I will come. For the foreign portfolio investors, these guys are rational, they are businessmen. They will move their funds to where they get the, to where they get better returns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, CBM may not be making money from um, the aggressive uh, policies that are putting in place to increase the interest rate and increase the rates on our bond uptake and um, treasury bills. Mm -hmm. But then it is helping to stabilize uh, our dollar situation. So some of the policies that are being put in place are really, really helping. People, they will naturally respond. Even for the direct in investments that have not been coming. At the point, um, a lot of Nigerians were, okay, you know, they were looking at uh, probably the dollar will get to 2,000 or 3,000 before they start bringing in their money. <laughs> but they're beginning to see that, look, if I need to do something, I better start moving my, f my, f my, my funds in now. So this policy stance mm -hmm. has to continue. It has to continue in this trajectory, and people are going to be much more interested in bringing in their f their funds. Um, is the policy si uh, signaling that is the main thing for me? You know, every other thing I mean is held constant, but these things things that CBN is doing today are the right steps that have been taken 
you know, and I think it should be sustained. Thank you very much. Uh, this is still Nigeria today. And uh, we'll take a short break now and listen to the reactions of Nigerians on Naira appreciation. Please don't go away. The GDP is what really um, makes the, the currency to stand uh, firm amongst other uh, currencies. You see, uh, with the issue of floating the Naira has its uh, very diverse and complex issues. But uh, hence we have the Naira appreciating to 1,380. I think the government is doing a very good job in uh, making this work out this way. That same work rate that they have done, which uh, Naira has, I mean dollar has crashed to Naira uh, up to uh, 737 naira, they should still work on that policy. That is um, the CBN or the government, they should still try much effort to make sure that um, the dollar, dollar can still come down, right down to at least 300 naira. I think uh, Nigeria will appreciate that. If we can just solve the, ins the insecurity problem that can make us in, you know, export more food, because the, the problem generally is that we need to have uh, we have, to mo we have to export more than we, than we import. That is the only way that this dollar situation will be solved. If, if we have shortage of dollar, we cannot, it can not get lower than what it is now. If we can cut down on our imports and increase our export rates, Naira should stabilize in no time. Welcome back. This is still Nigeria today, and we are looking at uh, the appreciation of the sustaining the appreciation of uh, Naira. And I have with me here uh, a gentleman in the studio. Now you had the reaction of the people there. Quite a lot of people. You think uh, uh, they don't know much, but <laughs> you'd be surprised to know that people on the street know what is going on, Absolutely. and they know what and what should you know. They have their own. Uh, now, uh, in what ways can a government encourage? Uh, uh, the SMEs, you know, or, or, or what, what, in other words, what impact or what role do they play in uh, strengthening the the value of the Naira, and how can this, how can they be encouraged? Yeah, um, the SME naturally should form the bedrock of every economy. Mm -hmm. um, they should naturally form the largest uh, employer mm. of um, labour. Um, the government has been doing a couple of um, initiatives. Um, we've seen um, grants. <laughs> we've seen um, 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 loans to the SME space. Um, even the ones done by government, um, it's just that um, they were not properly done. If you if you recall, the new CBN um, uh, the the new CBN players have uh, you know stopped some of those uh, initiatives because. Um, the people that are supposed to get some of those funds were not given, and there uh, was more of used as um, a settlement and stuff like that. Um, so the SME has a huge role to play because we are talking about production. Bulk of this production stems from the SME because we don't have lots of large corporates. So if we have SMEs producing at the smaller units all over the place, the aggregate production you will see it manifesting our GDP growth. Mm -hmm. So once we are producing, once our GDP is growing, mm -hmm. naturally um, our inflation will abate. Um, naturally you will see our balance of payments start um, getting positive. Mm -hmm. And um, the SME is, uh, um, must be encouraged, you know, by all means to be able to um, operate, to be able to um, you know, cover that employment gap mm -hmm. and so that um, we can also see production um, that um, they are known for in China and the many other development, uh, um, developed economies. The SMEs, you know, uh, naturally hold the e economies uh, together. So we, we need to put um, a little focus, we're going to incentivize the SMEs and going to you know, um, build their capacities, going to extend um, credit to that sector so that um, we can begin to derive the benefits 
you know, from the SME space. Okay, now uh, going back uh, to the inflation, you mentioned inflation uh, earlier on, and I was wondering what impact does inflation uh, control have on currency stability? And of course, how can Nigeria strike a balance, you know, between uh, controlling inflation and fostering economic growth? You know, this whole, these rates, you know, are mm. all connected. Each of them are not independent. SNG has effect on inflation rate and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, in my own view, um, to bring down inflation, a whole lot of things needs to be done. Um, there are policy initiatives that need to be taken. Um, the SNG rate that is um, stabilizing now and that is coming down, you're going to see it play out in the inflation rate as well because the cost of input is being to come down. And as the cost of input is coming down, the prices of goods are also likely to come down. And it's the same way that inflation is also going to drop. Um, I'm sure by the next um, MBS um, statistics, inflation will start to drop, it will start to abate. And if what we're seeing, if these policy initiatives you know, continue the way it is. I can tell you that um, CBN probably might be able to achieve um, their goal of bringing inflation to 21% before the end of the year. It sounds like a tall order, but uh, I mean, it's doable. And with all the right things <coughs> being put in place, the right things that are being done uh, at the moment, it is very possible. If, if we can get to this point, then it's possible. Of course, <laughs> of course. Very I mean, possible. I just checked and the um, master this evening. Mm. Um, is that the dollar is actually down to 1367. 1367? Yes, 1367 as we speak. Okay. You know, so um, hope, hope rising, <laughs> you know. And I, and I hope uh, people, the currency speculators out there that, you know. The <laughs> currency speculators, <laughs> you know, that is also that one of the reasons. Holding the dollar should um, start bringing it out. Otherwise, it will start those, crying those very soon. Those who thought that the dollar would um, land at 2000, 3000, you know, when they saw that, you see, mm -hmm. everything responds to policy sig uh, signaling. Mm -hmm. B before, nothing was done. You know, the economy was just a um, roller coaster. You mm -hmm. know, nobody, there were no initiatives and all that. Mm -hmm. People were holding money. They were already getting burnt. Um, some of them probably, if they offloaded last month, they would have missed so much. Mm -hmm. So, you, there's a rush in the market now, and that has improved the liquidity <laughs> in the market. Those who ordered it and hoping that it will go to 2000, 2005 yeah. before they start using it, they're all rushing their funds. And mm -hmm. I can tell you, mm -hmm. for those who are still keeping the dollar and hoping, <laughs> they are in for a long ride and they're going to lose much more. So this is the time. Mm -hmm. Now that it's still at 1 3, you know, probably we might get to 1 2 by next week or before next it month. Before comes down to so 900. Please <laughs> bring out your dollar and exchange and use the money to do what you want to do. You will get burnt if you continue to hold on to this money, if you continue to hold it and hoping for the worst. Well, thank you very much, uh, Joel. Uh, with that, we'll wrap up today's episode, uh, today's episode of Nigeria Today. A very big thank you to uh, Joel Haruna, who's a, a chartered accountant and a financial analyst. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And thank you for being part of the program. Don't forget, Nigeria Today is weekday at 7.30 p.m. on NTA News 24. You can also watch these episodes and others on www.youtube.com slash NTA News 24 Hub. Once again, thank you for watching. I am Ikeria Clinton. Do have a wonderful weekend.